Hello, and welcome to Treyu Road, the home of Trio City in this big promotion match. Last time out, Truro beat Hungerford 2-1, whereas Braintree relegated Whitehawk with a 4-3 victory. There are two changes today for Truro. Andrew Neal and Noah Keats come in for the injured Tyler Harvey and Cody Cook. Truro sit three points above Braintree, with three games to go and a win would put Truro six points above them. And the referee today is Mrs. Amy Fern, and that's the first female referee we've had at this level. Ed Palmer loses the ball out. And I've ranged could be in here. Stan Parcel takes it wide. Oh, but Riley does very well to hold it up and block the ball. Free kick to Braintree as the ball goes long. <laughs> Gehring does well to win it in the air. But it's flicked back in. Oh, it's dropped. It's a good strike and it's a lovely finish by number 11, Ben Wyatt. Braintree have taken the lead here. Ball not dealt with by the Churro defence. Churro complaining to the referee about something, but the, but the goal will stand as Braintree celebrate. Yeah, I mean, Churro seems quite slow to react. Um, and obviously, it's fallen to, to, to the Braintree player, and, and as you say, a fantastic finish, a, a low drive right into the far corner, leaving uh, Mikhail with no chance. Well on butt by Crook. So he holds the ball up. Rides on the ball, switching the play out to nobody. I think he got confused with the subs there. So about 14 minutes in. Obviously, it was Braintree that, that made the better start, but just the last three or four minutes, Truro seemed like they've settled down a little bit, and, and that's what's needed, just cool heads today. Um, yes, they've gone 1-0 down, um, but as I said before, plenty of time to get back in the game. Just need to regroup, get together, weather the storm a little bit, because they'll get opportunities to get back in the game. Ball gone along, looking for Neil. His header can't quite find Owen Evans. As Palmer misses a clearance. And now Thompson is racing through. Oh, it's a brilliant, brilliant tackle by Jamie Richards. Goal saving, as good as a goal, that. Ball's played in. To the edge of the box. Crook back outside to Wyatt. Ball played in. It's what calls for handball as the header came in. Ref hasn't given it. As Lamont does really well, finds Noah, and he's been fouled on the halfway line. And Chiro can regroup. The long throw played in. Garen can't quite win. Harding picks it up inside the box. Back to Lamont as his. As this cross is blocked and it goes out for the first corner for Truro. Riley Lowe to deliver. It's a good ball, it's missed by a lot of people as, as it's in. Jamie Richards taps home, a ball wasn't cleared by the Braintree defence. And Richard, who made a great defensive tackle earlier in the half, has scored in the 25th minute here. He just reacts the quickest out of everyone. Um, the ball originally feel, fell to Neil. Um, I think he wasn't expecting it. Falls to Richards. Sharp in the box. 1-1. One, one. The ball's played in. Dinked in. It's cleared away, though. Look. Oh, it's given away. It's sloppy. As Michael Pearson runs through, can Ed Palmer catch him? Oh, Allen picked up the ball, but he couldn't quite find Michael Pearson. And Truro, after a mistake in their defence, managed to get back well. And now, Braintree have lost it, it's Harding. 
Finds Noah Keats, but he can't quite keep hold of it. And now Crook will try to bring the ball forward. It's a wayward, wayward cross there, which McHale gave us comfortably. Yeah, I mean, it started off quite cagey. Uh, I'd say Braintree had the, the better of the opening 20 minutes, but got themselves in front. But, you know, credit to Truro. They got themselves back in it. Um, showed good character, a bit of resilience, um, and they've created some chances for themselves and, and go in at 1-0. And I think both teams, um, with the map, you know how big the game is and, and a lot depends on it, they'll be happy um, at 1-0 and should, should make out for an interesting second half. Scuff kick from McHale. Harding can't keep hold of it. Ball over the top. McHale's come out. He's not got it. Michael Parcell had a good opportunity there if he could have kept the ball. Less there for McHale, his poor kick. That's a half chance for Braintree. Allen does well to keep the ball. Rich is big win. Finds Lamont. Place not happy with that, and as said, Palmer comes storming in. Well, the ref will have to try and calm it down here. Temp seem to be boiling over a little bit as the game's coming into life a little bit now. Well, as you say, it, it needed something just to, to liven things up a little bit. Um, be interesting to see what the, the ref does here because uh, it seemed to be a, quite a late reaction from, from the Braintree centre half. You um, can see just waiting to get get an opinion probably from from the from the linesmen as well. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens here. It was Akoya who put no kits on the floor after two big tackles on him. I think the ref have just calmed it down, not given any yellows, and the game will resume. Back underway here. As Richards comes back onto the field. Can't quite win in the air. As Allen will chase it. Palmer's clear, it's not quite good enough there, and Brent will get the second corner of the half. White to take the corner. Floated into the box. Cleared by Gehring. Only as far as Allen. Long ball forward. It's a great touch by the centre half. He's shot. And this shot not quite good enough as it goes just wide. Good chance there for Braintree. Well, it was a great first touch, as you say, from the centre half. Um, any forward would have been happy with that, but um, I think the thing there with his, the final shot needs to go back across goal just to try and make the goalkeeper work. Anything can happen. Mikhail might parry something out. Forward could be there to tap it in, but thankfully for Truro, it's, it's gone to the near side of the goal. Thompson flicks it on. Only, oh, Thompson's block, blocked the clearance. And now he's in. One on one. And it's an own goal for Truro. Ben Gehring tried to get back with a big tackle. He's got the ball, but he's put it past McHale. It's another poor goal to concede for, for Truro there, really. Yeah, the last four or five minutes, Truro have, 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 have invited pressure. Um, just from individual errors, really, individual mistakes, uh, whether it's gone up from a throw-in, um, you know, a corner. I've just invited that little bit of pressure, which obviously Braintree have sensed, obviously they've gone through there. I did originally think Mikel was had made the decision to come for it and decided to stay. Um, but unfortunately for, for Truro, they've gone through and, and Braintree have got themselves 2-1 up. Thompson can't win it. Palmer does well. Lamont and White chance for the ball together. The ball's not quite coming into Thompson and Neil at the moment. I think Trey needs to mix it up a little bit, a little bit more. Do you think? 
Yeah, I feel they're still looking for that ball forward. Um, and at the minute, it's not really coming off. If they're being effective with it and they're picking up second balls, then, then I can see, see them you know, see what they're trying. But at the minute, they're not really having success from it. So again, similar to the first half, Truro just going to have to shorten it up a little bit, get the midfield free to just get hold of the ball, just retain possession a little bit and just take a sting out of the game. Because at the minute, the last five, ten minutes, Braintree have certainly got their tails up. Thompson picks it up. Harding does well, but Grant has it. He still has it. Can he get a shot away? He can. And it's very far over the crossbar there. Stuart Yetton there, coming on for... Andrew Neil. Ed Palmer, long ball into the box. Been for Gehring, who wins it. His head of back across goal can't quite be met by Truro. Head has been cleared away. All the way back to McHale. As the ball will go back forward. Gehring can't quite win it in the air. Owen Evans is back into the air. It's Joshua Hill's clearance goes over front to throw in a good position. Power free. Ball in. Kib comes for it. He's missed it. It's dropping. He's got the second ball. He's missed the first one, but it was really brave there. He's done really well. And Brown should get away with it. Gehring does well to win in the air as Crook goes long. Looking for Grant. Palmer doesn't get away. Richards gets away from McHale, who was coming out for it, but Truro deal with it, and it's a goal kick to Truro. It's ball in the box. Oh, and back across goal. That's a great last ditch header as Gehring was unmarked and had a clear tap in. Very good defending by Braintree. Owen oh, Evans. Good bit of skill, but low ball in, not good enough. But the clearance is up high and it, it's been kept on just about. And it's a goal kick to Braintree. Just not quite falling for Truro there in the last two minutes. Thompson breaking down a left. He's done well, he's, he's won a corner. Last chance. Yeah, last chance for Truro to get the ball in the box of a set piece. Uh, just waiting as it goes in here now. Oh, Richards has just missed it, and I think it'll get cleared away. Can Brain to get him on the counter? It's not a good ball, but Grant will hold it up. Wyatt. We've got men over. Grant is offside. Played. We've played almost four minutes into stoppage time here. Ball's long by Palmer. Grant has stayed down. Getton. He's in. He's put it over the crossbar. Oh, it's been giving us a foul anyway. Chris Todd had a chance. But his finish wasn't quite good enough. But I think Yesen had been adjusted to a foul. Joshua Hill. It's a long kick forward. Gehring flicks it. Hasn't quite found Thomas. Lamont picks it up. It's a big win for Braintree here as they beat Truro 2 1 at Trey Road. An own goal by Captain Ben Gearing was enough to separate the sides. Thoughts, Jamie? Well, Truro will be disappointed because they've not been at the races today. Over the course of the 90 minutes, you, you have to say Braintree have probably deserved the win. Uh, they've certainly looked a little bit more creative in the final third. Certainly looked a lot more effective than Truro have been. Um, and, and they'll be over the moon coming away from home at, the, at this time, at the stage of the season, in a game of this magnitude to take back three points um, and leave the, uh, the playoff race wide open for the two remaining games. They'll be delighted. Yeah, final score here at Trey Road. Truro City 1, Braintree Town 2.